Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build email marketing automation using a platform called Moosent. Now, the reason I'm shooting this video today is recently I've seen a lot of people getting viral growth on different social media platforms. However, majority of them haven't been building their email list at the same time. Now, this is extremely important because if for some reason the viral growth stopped, then so would all of the traffic and reach that you would be getting from your audience. Whereas if you built an email list at the same time, then you always have them ready to be contacted if you have something that you want to share. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you a Moosen tutorial, how to set things up from beginning to end. So follow along if you want. And by the end of this video, you will have a fully working email automation campaign. So let's go ahead. Let's go behind the screen and get started. Okay, so the first step for building your email list is getting yourself some email marketing software. Now I've left a link below in the description which is going to take you directly to this Moosen website, which is an email marketing provider that I recommend you get started with. Now the reason I recommend it is it does have all of the premium features that you would ever need to grow your business, but it doesn't charge you the world. In fact, it's one of the most affordable email marketing software out there and you can even get started for free for 30 days without entering a credit card. So what I'm going to do is walk you through that entire process now. So what I'm going to do is click on sign up and next it's going to take me to the sign up page. I've just created a brand new website and email account for this example. So this is going to be hello at genius templates.com. Okay. And once you click continue, it's going to say, what do you want your login domain to be? So I'll just put in here genius templates. It's then asking for a password. So I'm just going to leave this one in here that I pre-filled. And then it says, do you consent to receive communications? I'm going to check that and click register. Next, it's asking for a first and last name. So I'll quickly add those in, click on continue. And now it's saying, what is your company name? So I'll just put in here genius templates, right? And I'll just pause the video and grab my business information, right? So that's all filled out. So I'll go here, click on continue. Next is just asking a few details about my business. So what industry are you in? I'm going to be in education and training. How many people work for you? Less than 10. And how many subscribers do you have? I'm just going to say here between five and 10,000. Do you sell online? I'm just going to check this off for now. If you did check it, it's going to give you some additional templates and resources for things like e-commerce. So I'm just going to go ahead, click on continue. And now it's going to start setting up our dashboard. So now we have a little pop-up appearing. Please check and click the activation link in your email we've sent you. So I've gone ahead and opened my email account and here it is right here. If you go into your email account and it doesn't appear, maybe it's in the spam or junk folder, just be sure to check in there if you can't find it. So I'll go ahead, open it up, click on the activate account. And now in a few seconds, we should have our dashboard. All right, so this has now appeared. And as you can see, we have got 31 days left in our free trial. So I'll just close that. I don't need to see it. But it says here, create your first email list. So let's go ahead and do that. So click on create email list. This is going to be newsletter subscribers. Okay, I'll just start off with this one. It's a very easy one um, to get started with. View all members, I don't have any right now. And if I come on the left, you can see we have perform bulk actions. So if you had an email list already and you were moving to Moosend, you could easily import it here. You've also got set your settings. So there is a redirect page URL after people unsubscribe. You can create one of those if you want, a nice little personalized custom type of unsubscribe page. This is perfect for getting people to sign up to your social media if they don't wanna be on your email list. So that's all good. We also have here custom fields. So if you were getting other bits of information like company names or things like that, you can add them in here. And then finally, there is segments, which we don't need to worry about right now. So now we actually have our first email list created called newsletter subscribers. So the next step is going ahead and creating a page where people can actually sign up. So what I'm gonna do is come to growth tools at the top here and click on landing pages. Now there are no landing pages just yet, so we wanna click create new. And this is going to say set basic settings. So what is your landing page going to be called? Mine's going to be the newsletter registration okay 
and next it's asking for SEO settings. So this is the page title and they've left a little graphic here on the right so you can follow that. So page title is what it's going to say at the very top of your page. So this is going to be the Genius Templates um, newsletter. Okay, and then meta description, you can see once again on the right, it's got this little bit of text underneath the Google results. That's what it's gonna show there. So if you want to stay up to date with the Genius Templates latest information and deals, sign up to our newsletter. Okay, so that's all done. Now there's also the Favicon that you can also add. I haven't created one just for this brand just yet, but once you have that, you can upload it there as well. So let's go and click on next. So now we are on the design step, which is step number two out of six. And it says here, time to get creative. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see this button, start designing. This is where we can go ahead and create a landing page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on start designing and let's have a look at these different templates. So now we have arrived at their template library and basically these are some different types of email templates that you can use inside of your email marketing automation. So if you come on the left, you will see there are a few different categories that you can choose from. We've got coming soon, ebook, lead generation or webinar. So what I'm gonna do to save some time is click on lead generation because that is my main sort of outcome that I'm trying to create. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see here there are a few different things. The one I'm looking for is going to be newsletter subscription. It's just nice and basic, but it's very clean and modern. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click use template. If you're choosing something different, you can also click preview template to look around before you commit. So go ahead, choose one, and then click use template. It says, are you sure you wanna set this template as a landing page? Click on okay and now this template's going to load. Now you can see it loads extremely quick. This is actually a new editor that they have just launched only a month or two ago. So it is very sleek, it's very modern and quick. So let me give you a quick tour of how this works. So on the left, we have the different types of containers that you can use inside of your landing page. For example, if you wanted to add four different rows inside of here, you could drag in the four quarter column and that's going to create the different rows for you. And then you just click on the element you want to add, for example, some text, and there is your text module. And the same thing goes for all of these different ones as well. It's really easy to use. Now, once you have created your different rows, what you can also do as well is come across to items. And this is where you can drag and drop different items onto your page. Now, the cool thing about this is they have everything from timers and social shares, videos, and everything else that you would ever need. So you just drag on the element and then you drop it on the page where you want it to go. Obviously, where the green box is is where it's going to land, for example, there. And then you've gone and added in your new element. Now, if you wanted to edit an element as well, just click on it and you will see on the right, it has all of the different settings settings, you can change things like fonts, you can also change things like the box settings which has the background and everything like that, plus different labels, so that's all of there inside of it and if you wanted to get rid of it afterwards, you can just hover over it and you see these little settings will appear, just come across and you will see the trash if you want trash or you can duplicate or everything like that, so everything is nice and easy. Now next, we also have here settings. This is going to be your page settings. And as you can see, we can change things like fonts, link settings, slot text, form, spacer, image, button, and everything else in between. So you can edit the entire global settings just inside of this page. You can also add in a background image. Now, once you have created your design, you also have a few viewports you can choose from. So we have here the desktop. This is the one that you have been editing. We also have mobile. And if you click that, it's going to optimize it to mobile. But I highly recommend only doing this once you've finished your original landing page on desktop. Reason being is it will optimize exactly what is on your desktop. But if you need to change the design, then you're going to manually have to change it in the mobile as well. So something to think about. Now at the top, we also have edit, comments, preview, history, and script. They're all pretty self-explanatory. Things like edit means you can edit the page. Comment means if you have additional team members, they can all comment inside of it. Preview shows you what it looks like live. History is all of the different revisions. And a cool thing that not many email providers allow you to have one more time is actually script, where you can type in HTML code. So that's a pretty cool thing if you do know about code. Me personally, I like to just use the drag and drop editor as it's nice and easy. 
So let's go ahead and start editing things. I'm gonna first of all click on brand name and what I'm gonna do is on the right, I'm gonna see this little text box and what I'm gonna do is type in my brand. So genius templates, okay. And now we've typed it in, we can also come to style if we wanna change things like the text size or how it is styled. So I'm just gonna highlight it and click bold just to make it give a little bit more pop. There's also some additional settings like coding inside there as well. Now what I'm gonna do is come down to the description because this is just some default text. And what I'm gonna do is paste in some text I prepared earlier like so. So to get the latest templates, updates, and discounts, subscribe to the Genius Templates newsletter, right? Nice and simple. And it is a little bit small, so I might just increase the size a little bit. So that looks pretty good. I'm happy with how that came out. Now the next step I like to do as well is you'll probably notice email is at the top and name is at the bottom. I just have a personal preference where I like to have name at the top, email secondary. So to change those around, simply click on the area, scroll down on the right to edit custom fields, and you will see here custom field settings. So all you need to do is just move them whichever way you want. You can also make the name required, email is default required. And if you have created custom fields, as well you can also add those in me personally I haven't got any so this is perfect now one other thing I like to do as well you will notice the button says sign up when it says sign up I personally believe it makes people a little bit scared because signing up to something always seems like a big deal so instead what I'm gonna do is join the newsletter right just a nice actionable statement so once they enter in their name and details then they can go ahead and click join the newsletter so apart from that i wouldn't really change too much obviously the image you can change and by doing that you just click on it come down and you can click on change image the reason i don't change too much is if you add in too many things inside of a landing page you're taking them away from the actual purpose of it which is gathering their email instead you might be sending them to social media things like that but we want them to sign up right that's the entire point of having an email list so keep it as simple as possible don't add in too much information if they have arrived on this page then they're already interested and then finally the last step if you are someone that has created multiple different lists is just scroll down on the form section on the form box and you will see here select mailing list if you've just got the one like we have now that's completely fine if you've got multiple landing pages just ensure you have the right mailing list selected just so when you send out a campaign it's going to the right people so we're pretty much finished inside of here. We can go ahead, click on proceed to next step. So let's go ahead and click save as draft. And then we can go and click proceed to next step. So it's saying here, would you like to preview the page before saving the current design? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click proceed. I already know it looks pretty good. This design will be auto saved and your current landing page content will be updated. So I'll click yes. And now it is saving. So now we have edited our page. It has brought us to step three, which is share on social media. If you've ever shared a link on social media before, you will notice it comes up with this looking box, right? It has an image. It's got a headline and a meta description once again. So you just fill out the information to suit. Once again, I'm going to type here the Genius Templates Newsletter Registration, okay? and description if you want to get the latest deals, discounts, and templates, join the newsletter, okay? Something simple like that. And the image here is the one that will be shared on social media. I don't currently have one available right now, but this is where you would upload it. And Twitter also has the same thing. I'm not going to be tweeting it, but if you want, you can just copy and paste from this particular one. So it's nice and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on next, which brings us to step four track your conversions. Now by default, it already tracks when someone submits the form inside of Moosen, so don't turn that off. This is important to keep on. But if you wanna additionally track with Google Analytics or maybe with the Facebook Pixel, you can add those in here. And if you wanna add in a cookie consent, you can also turn that on. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is for this example. So next is step five, which is choose publishing method. Now by default, they give you this domain that you've created as well, which at the beginning I typed in genius templates. So they have here a subdomain for mpages.com. You can also add in your own custom domain and settings. I'll talk about that later, but this is at the moment the live link we can actually use. The page isn't published just yet, but this is the link you can copy if you wanna use it later. 
or else there is an additional way to actually add and publish landing pages and that is using WordPress. So if you are a WordPress user, then what you wanna do is click on setup and install WordPress plugin. And I've actually done it already. So as you can see here, MooSend, we have landing pages. And basically what this will allow you to do is use your website domain name and make it look like just a page on your website. So I'll quickly publish the page and then I'll come back and show you how it works. But if you don't have WordPress, don't worry about it just yet. So that's all done. I'll go ahead, click on next. And now we have our summary of everything that we've just created, right? So this is our website template, right? Our landing page template. We've got tracking. We've also got publishing, which at the moment is just this link. So I'll go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. So now our landing page is published. And as you can see, we have here visitors, views, conversions, conversion percentage, status, and labels. Now it has here one visitor and three views because I did make a blooper, so I'm having to come back and shoot it again. But let me show you what this page looks like. So go ahead and I'm gonna go and open this in a new page. Okay, so this is what it looks like, nice and clean and fast to load. Now let me show you quickly how to import this also into the WordPress plugin. So if I come to the WordPress plugin, you will see MooSend, come to import to WordPress, and you will see here the landing page name and the status. So go ahead, click on import, and it's gonna go ahead and create a URL based off your WordPress website, right? So you can see here geniustemplates.com forward slash L forward slash newsletter registration. So what you can do is edit the URL. I'm just gonna leave it as newsletter, click on OK. Make sure you go ahead then and publish the page like so. And if we open this once again in a new tab, right? So this is gonna load now. You can see if I drag down the bar just a little bit, we've got our custom domain name, plus we have our custom URL. So it just makes it a little bit more on brand. So that's pretty cool. So let's come back to Moosent. Now everything looks pretty good, the page is working. So I guess the next step is to actually see if it works. So I'm gonna go ahead, reload the page one more time, and then I'm gonna go and type in my name. So Phil, right, email can be hello at legitmarketingreviews.com. Click join the newsletter. And now success, you've been added to the list. So if I come back to our Moosen dashboard, if I come now to audience and go to email lists, you will see here newsletter subscribers, I've got one active subscriber. So if I click on the list itself and click on view all members, you will see here I am. So hello at legitmarketingreviews.com and my name is Phil. So that's pretty cool, it's all done. And if we come back to the dashboard, you can also see how your stats are going to look over time. Once you start getting more data, it's going to have different types of engagement breakdowns, your different locations, and everything like that too. So just to recap where we are, we have a landing page, we have an email list, but we are going to add in one more step, which is adding in email automation, right? We wanna add in an automated email that goes out every time someone subscribes. So we're gonna to come to the automation tab on the right. We're gonna come down to create new automation. And inside here is going to be our little automation workflow. So the first thing we wanna do is click on select your trigger. I'm going to then look for when someone subscribes to a specific list. So down here on the left, when someone subscribes to a specific list is going to be the trigger. So I'm gonna choose that. And then it's going to say email list, select an option. I'm going to choose newsletter subscribers and click on save. So now every time someone subscribes to that newsletter list, this automation is going to trigger. So the next step we will be adding is an email to go out automatically every time someone subscribes. But there is one more thing we need to do before we get there and that is add in a sender email address. So what I'm gonna do is on the right, I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna right click on that and open it in a new tab. And this is going to allow us to add in a sender account. Now, if you haven't yet added in a sender, on the left, we have here senders. And as you can see, the name currently says Genius Templates Owner. And that is going to get rejected each time it sends because that just doesn't sound like a person's name. So what we wanna do is on the left, hover over the three dots and click on edit. And first of all, you wanna change what the name is. So you can either type in your brand name like Genius Templates, or it's even better sometimes to add in your own personal name. I'm just gonna leave it as Genius Templates for now. And you can see this has been added. 
Now there is one final step that you only ever need to do once per domain, and that is setting up what's called the SPF or the DKIM. So to do that, you wanna click on this little tab and it's going to ask you to add in these specific keys to your particular domain hosting. So let me show you how to do that really quickly. The first step is to go to your domain hosting and then you wanna come down and find the DNS zone editor. So this is hosting and this is what this website is currently hosted on. And once you have that open, it should look something like this where you can add in domain records. So I'm going to come back to Moosend I'm gonna go here and look for, you can see it's a text record. I'm gonna copy this information, come back to my DNS record and then look for a text like it asked for, paste in the value, come back to Moosend and copy the record value. All right, come back to DNS and paste it in like so and click add record. Now this process may take between sort of 10 minutes and sometimes in bad cases up to an hour to propagate depending on your hosting platform. It's basically waiting for them to shoot the information back to Moosend. But once it's done, go ahead and click on verify DNS record. And then once you've clicked that, come back to exit. And then hopefully you should see two ticks. The SPF is a tick and the DKIM is also checked. Now if it still says sender is rejected, that's an easy fix as well. Just jump onto support and say, hey, my sender was rejected and they'll quickly go ahead and test it. And then they'll see that you've added your records and manually approve it. And if you're wondering why you need to do this, it's to prove that you do own the domain and the domain instructions basically that you've added, these ones here, are to show that you want to use it for this particular platform. It's just a security thing. So now once we've done that, we can come back to our automation tab. We can then come down to the plus and on the plus, you will see select action. We've got two types here. We've got conditional, which is filtered based on people's engagement, or we have here action. So you wanna choose action and then click on send email campaign. Now it's going to ask, what is your subject line? So I'm going to say here, welcome to the genius templates newsletter right you have here from name so this is now since we added in the email we have the option to choose it and you've got two options here we've got the rich text editor or we have a campaign editor the rich text is going to be plain html text just like a normal text editor or we can choose the campaign editor which is going to let us use their builder just like the landing page builder so for this example i'm going to use the the campaign editor so click go to editor and it's going to open up the builder. So now the editor has loaded and you'll probably notice it's exactly the same as the landing page builder. So you know exactly how everything works. If you wanna use a pre-made template, we also have the template library at the top or you could start from scratch. So let's have a quick look at the template library. So the first thing you'll notice is there are plenty more categories than the actual landing pages. Plenty of different email marketing solutions just perfect for you and different templates. Now for me personally, I like to keep things quite basic so I'm just gonna scroll down and look for one quite simple. So I might just choose this experience M1 and click use template. Once again, you can preview around to choose the right one for you. But this is now loaded. You can see all of the different components are being added. So you can come inside here and change everything to how you want it to look. So for me, I'm just gonna delete all the components that I don't need. I'll click do not show this again, just to avoid one step. But I'll delete these, delete this part here just to make it nice and plain and simple. And I'm pretty happy with how this looks. So let's start editing it. So I'll quickly delete this one too. So at the top here, what I'm gonna do is start off with this title. So the title is going to be Welcome to the Genius Templates Newsletter. It's quite large, so I might style it and bring it down a little bit, okay? So maybe 20. Oh, select all of it, go to 20, 22. Maybe keep coming up, about 28. And what I might actually do to personalize this is add in the person's name. So let me show you how you would do that. So once you've gone to content, you've typed in what you want, you've got here personalization tags, what you can do is come down and then find recipient name. 
and this is actually going to replace this string of text with the person's name. So let's just say Bob signed up. This is going to say Bob. If Jane signed up, this is going to say Jane. So it just makes it that little bit more personal. Now inside of the text column, you can come and change a little bit of text here. So I'll quickly add some in I created earlier. Okay, so I've added a nice little introduction type of email, which is automatically now going to be sent. And you can see it's a 50% off your first order uh, discount code. Of course, this is a hypothetical business. So this isn't something that is real. But you can see inside here, if you use the discount code, I am a genius, you'll get 50% off your first order. So this looks pretty nice so far. The only thing I'm going to change now is this little button. What I'm going to type in here is use your 50% discount, right? Something like that. And that could link back to the website. So I'll type in here, geniustemplates.com. Okay. And that is all pretty good. You could also add in the social channels and down the bottom, you also have your company name. So obviously change that to your website. And apart from that, I think that's pretty much good to go. So make sure once again, you check mobile. It looks pretty good. I'm happy. Let's go ahead and click save and continue. It's going to say, do you want to save? Yes. And now it's saving the design. So now our email is being updated into the campaign editor. It also has down here below emails per day. I highly suggest choosing unlimited. If you only select one email per day, I believe it may only send one. So you want it to be on unlimited as it's going to continuously send to new, new people who subscribe to your list. But once that's all done, click on save. And now guess what? You have got a automation sequence ready to go all you need to do is click on inactive to make it active and boom this thing is ready to rock and roll so it's been quite a big tutorial however you have now created email automation when it comes to email marketing so let's go have a look at our design what i'm going to do is come back to our newsletter registration page Okay, and I'm going to type in my name one more time. I'll put in my last name this time as well. And I'll put in here a different email address. So hello at imphilwilson.com and I'll click on join the newsletter. Now it says success, you've been added to the list. So let's go have a look if we've been added. So audience, email lists, two subscribers. Let's click on that. As you can see, two subscribers. Very good. I'll go ahead, pause the video and open up my email account. Okay, so that has come through perfectly. As you can see, it's from Genius Templates from hello at geniustemplates.com. So that is sent great. As you can see, welcome to the Genius Templates newsletter. You can see it's replaced that crazy string with the name that I added into the form. And you can see everything is perfect how it looks. That link is now clickable to the website and it's perfect. So now we have created perfect email marketing automation inside of MooSend, which is amazing because you can see now it's been triggered once, two actions, two opens, and everything is looking really good. If I click expand stats, it's also gonna show you everything as well. So what I'm gonna do right now is jump behind the screen. I wanna talk about some different scenarios and when you can actually create email marketing automation because this is going to be the key for growing your email list. Okay, so if you have followed along with this Moosen tutorial so far, you would have created an email list, built a landing page which sends emails to that list, and finally an automation to send out an automatic email each time someone subscribes. Now this is perfect because once you start building this email list, you can either send out emails related to updates in your business, current promotions you might be having. You can also create different types of rapport building exercises, linking them to different social media channels. and this this is all types of marketing that's going to help your business grow because your audience is going to know, like, and trust you even more. Now, some different ways you can start gathering emails is creating things like lead magnets, which is basically giving away a free bit of information in return for a email and name. Some common examples would be a cheat sheet or an ebook or a PDF, anything like that, which people would love to get in return for giving you their information. So once again, this is a Moosen tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have built good email marketing automation within your own business, but that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I've got some great marketing automation tutorials and reviews coming out in the next few weeks. That's it from me. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.